In today's video, we will be discussing about rates. Now, rates are ratios that compare x units of one quantity to one unit of another quantity. Let's take some real life applications for rates. Let's say you're driving your car and you're driving at 60 miles per hour. Or you have a job that pays you $18 per hour. Or you're at a grocery store and for every two pounds of bananas, it will cost you $1. Right, so these are the rates at which you're driving or the rate at which you're being paid, etc. Now, why is this important? Okay, let's take miles per hour as an example. You're going on a family trip and you're trying to plan out, okay, well, how long is this drive? The distance between your house and where the vacation is at is 180 miles, right? If you drive 60 miles per hour, 60 miles per hour, so our ratio is 60 to 1, then how long will it take for you to drive 180 miles? Well, 60 times 3 will give me 180. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So for me to drive 180 miles, it will take me 3 hours. And that is the importance of rates. Alicia drove at a constant speed and travels 183 miles in three hours. How many miles would Alicia travel in 11 hours at the same speed? Go ahead and pause the video and see if you can do this on your own. All right. So our ratio here is 183 miles to 3 hours but we want to find the rate at which she drives her car so what we're going to do is that we're going to change this number from 3 to 1 so that we have blank miles per hour and to do that we divide by 3 divide the left side by 3 and that will give us 61. So in one hour, Alicia drives 61 miles. So that's our rate. But now we have to find out how many miles does she travel in 11 hours. So we're going to take this rate and we're going to change it to find the ratio of how many miles she drives in 11 hours. Multiply this by 11. 61 times 11 will give us, let's find out. 61 times 11, that'll give us 1, 6, 1, 6. That'll give us 671 miles. So her, her total trip, or I'm sorry, she would drive. 671 miles in 11 hours if she were to drive at the same speed. Let's take a look at another example. Tommy can exchange 8 euros for $11. At this rate, how many dollars can Tommy get with 12 euros? 
Once again, pause the video and see if you can solve this on your own. All right, so we have our rate here. So for every eight euros, Tommy gets $11. We want to find out how many dollars he can get for one euro. So we're gonna divide this by eight to get one euro. Divide this by eight to find out how many dollars he gets from one euro. kind of sloppy there we go so for one euro he will get 11 eighth dollars so now that we found the base rate or the base rate we're now going to change this one euro to 12 euros by multiplying by 12 do the same on the other side I'm going to do the math over here just to kind of keep it neat. So 11 over 8 times 12 over 1. You can simplify this. This will be divide by 4. That will give us 2. Divide by 4. This will give us 3. 33 over 2, which can be simplified to 16 and a half. So for 12 euros, Tommy will get 16 point five dollars if you found this video useful please like comment subscribe as always email us if you have any questions at youtube at learnwithryan.com and once again i'm always encouraging you to go to khan academy try out some problems on your own the link will be in the description down below